hear me hear me the measure of pressure you face is the level of your anointing oh you don't hear me you don't hear me you don't hear me i said the level of pressure you face is the level of anointing that god wants to give to you if your pressure is higher your anointing is higher if your pressure is greater your anointing is greater if your pressure is greatest your anointing is greatest somebody shout i will not bow people come to me and say pastor i am going through pain i am going through stress i am going through difficulties i tell them that's the level of your anointing satan's method is pressure but he knows that there are people all he needs to do is just to increase the pressure a little bit and they will bow the wife of job when satan put pressure on job oh satan is a pressurizer i'm telling you pastor john satan is a demonic pressurizer satan can pressurize you until you lose your mind satan has the ability hear me whatever you are going to this morning i want to assure you that god knows that you are going through that pressure you are not alone you are not alone there's pressure on left right center everywhere you turn pressure in the family pressure in your business pressure amongst your children pressure everywhere you step in pressure 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 but the devil's tactics hear me people of god satan's tactics is pressure pressure he put so much pressure on job that job's wife joined the devil to pressurize why are you still here cause god and die cause god i don't want, i'm not here to preach to christians that, that 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 tell me they never go through problems those are not the people that have come to preach to there are some people when you preach this kind of message they behave like they are pope john paul the third no i've come to that sister i've come to that brother that will say god if you don't help me now i'm about to lose my mind i'm about to lose my mind this pressure is heavy on me do you understand what we're talking about they brought them before fire i'm not talking of ice not ice ice can give you time until What's that thing that happens to you when there's so much cold? Eh? Not frostbite. No, people don't know English. There's another one. Insomnia, something you get into. Eh? Not pneumonia, they say. Hypothermia. Come on now. That language, that English sometimes. Yeah, hypo what again? What is it? Oh, you people are copying. Wait. You, you. Some people that you know, when sometimes those days we were in school, they say, hey, What is the answer? Somebody that is not too short behind says, uh, Hypothermia, but you, you hear it. So, what is the answer? You say, Me, me, me. What? what is the answer? Hypothermia, but you copy it. You know, some of you know what I'm talking about. They copy it. We're not talking of hypothermia. We are not talking about talking to. We are not talking about threatening. We are talking about fire. Liquid fire. Solid fire. We are talking about fire that they said they increased. This same fire, the Bible told us, that this same fire, they used that fire to make the, 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 the statue. The same fire. Now, the, Nebuchadnezzar said, increase it seven times they so in somebody say pressure. pressure as i'm speaking it's like somebody is it's like they've increased your fire eight times oh come on now i said they've increased your fire eight times when people call you to a meeting 
and they begin to tell you things that you prayed long ago that they should not talk to you about they told you we told you that this marriage was not going to last we told you why are you marrying that man we told you not to you begin to feel this fire pressure pressure Pre oh god satan pressurized jesus until jesus screamed have thou forsaken me even satan he said do this is your time he told him he said this is your time do whatever pleases you he almost choked the young boy uh, breath out of him he choked jesus choked him son of god that used to walk on sea walk on felt you are not alone i say you're not alone he so choked him with pressure that jesus screamed why have thou forsaken me oh god why but the good thing jesus did not bow i said the three hebrew boys did not bow they said oh king it is better for us to burn in this furnace we are ready to burn in this furnace, but we will not bow somebody said i will not bow <laughs> now satan uses different tactics to pressurize one of the taxes he uses is what we call situation. Have you had somebody say to you, Pastor Daniel, my situation is bad. Have you had it? Yes. That situation is pressure. People have bowed to bow because of bad situation. You see people no longer serve God. Look at the young man that was testifying. He was under pressure and people told him, let us take you to somewhere that your business will be better. Pressure. 